of them bitches in there. I promise there's no poop in your sink, dude. Alright, so I got a new idea for the series. Or like, another type of YouTube video. I want to do like food reviews. Where I go to places around Denver, the surrounding cities on my Suron. And I go on adventure and uh, find new places to eat. Give a little like review of the menu and like different special things about, about the restaurant, the area around the restaurant. You know, I feel like it'd be a, a cool little series. For today's episode, we're gonna go to Watercourse Foods. It's gonna be in uh, Uptown Denver off of 17th and Emerson's. This restaurant has about four star reviews with just under 2,500 reviews. So it's a pretty well attended restaurant with good reviews. So I wanted to go there and give it a try. I've been there once before and I really liked it. So I want to go back and try something new. So now this restaurant, a little something special about it. It's going to be a vegan restaurant with a fully plant based scratch kitchen. So their menu is going to accommodate different dietary preferences while still catering to breakfast, lunch, and dinner menu, as well as a full cocktail menu. All the ingredients they use are gonna be free from artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and hydrogenated fats. So this is gonna make it a nourishing and healthy alternative to other places that you would normally dine at. So a couple of their guest favorites off the menu are going to include the Cuban sandwich, the lavender aviation cocktail, which I'm probably going to try. That thing looks bomb. They also have uh, the raw pad thai, the 17th Ave quesadilla, and the strawberries and cream milkshake. So they have a special dine in happy hour Monday through Friday. It's going to be 11 a.m. till noon. It's 3 p.m. till 6. I'm cruising there a little bit late, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get to the happy hour. But it's kind of cool that they have both morning and afternoon happy hour. Now one cool thing about this restaurant being downtown, it's going to be located near a historic landmark. Oh, hell no. Ooh, get that pump. So there's a historic landmark actually located right down the street from Watercourse Food. This is going to be the Molly Brown House Museum, also known as the House of Lions. This was the home of an American philanthropist, socialite, and activist, Margaret Brown. So one special thing about Margaret Brown was she was known as the unseekable Molly Brown. She got this nickname because she survived the sinking of the Titanic. So it's pretty cool because her home presents exhibits interpreting her life and that of Victorian Denver, as well as the architectural preservation. Oh, what's going on here? That's kind of cool. So it's pretty cool. They have both self and guided tours available. They also have this kind of program called the 1340 Pen After Hours. It's gonna be a historical booze cruise, which includes cocktails that would have been featured aboard ships like the Titanic. And they provide this while you hear racy tales and explore taboo topics. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to go eat here because I've been fasting all day. I haven't had anything to do like coffee this morning. So I worked up a pretty good appetite for this. So I'm uh, pretty excited to try some new food. Their menu has a pretty wide variety of things, such as they have like wheatings, but instead of chicken, they make them out of cauliflower. Um, I've tried similar things, and if you like cauliflower, they're good, but if you're not really a fan, I, I would probably stay away from that. So we're gonna fast forward to where we get more downtown and get off the bike trail. Hey, beautiful sight to see. Beautiful. 
All these old houses and apartments are pretty cool, honestly. Like, I always love riding around down here. All right, so here it is. Get a better view. Looks like we got a tour going on right now. Another part of local history down here in Denver. Cool, after checking that out, now we're gonna head down and get some grub. So I think they're only open till nine, but I usually don't stay too long. And look at that, it's only you can sell the road. So like I said, there's all this beautiful architecture down here. I thought it'd be cool to throw in a little history with the food group. Now Colfax is not... Colfax is not the place to be. I feel like the farther you go down, the worse it fucking gets. Nah, sorry. Nah, just this. And we're here at Watercourse Foods. So there is watercourse foods. Just finished eating there. And honestly, it was super good. I don't know if it's because I was fasting all day, but I can only eat like half that sandwich and half the fries before I like got full. Which is kind of cool, honestly. So I got some food for tomorrow since it's pretty late already. So review of the food. Tasted super good. The the pepperoncinis like really complimented the sandwich i'm a fan of them so i like them the sweetness kind of gave it a little spark um the sweet potato fries were super good i like those they they prepared them super well uh the however <laughs> the lavender aviation cocktail was pretty damn bomb honestly i'm a huge fan of lavender but that shit was like 14 bucks. 14 bucks for a drink is wild. For that little tiny ass cocktail, like... I don't know. Me, I probably wouldn't get it again, even though it was pretty damn good. Food was good, it was a little bit expensive. It was like 16 bucks for that little ass sandwich, but I mean... They are uh, using good ingredients, and... You know, I'm all for paying a little more for better food. So they have this, uh, I think it's called Satan. It's like meat substitute pretty much for the sandwich and they prepared that super well. Huge fan of how that tastes. I researched it a little bit, so it's gonna be um, like a wheat protein instead of like most like, plant-based proteins are gonna be either 
pea or soy. So it was a cool trying a different uh, meat substitute. And I really enjoyed it. So for that reason, I might go back and get more. The sandwich was prepared well. The bun was super nice. So yeah, overall, huge fan. Huge fan. A little pricey, but it was, it was tasty. If you're looking for uh, some alternative, something uh, away from me, vegan per se, I would definitely recommend. Even though it is a little more pricey, I feel like in the end it was worth it. It's nine o'clock, so I'm gonna go adventure around downtown since we're already down here. See if we can get some fucking weirdos out tonight. People cutting up on the fucking lime scooters. No, you're chilling, dude. Hell yeah. Thank you. Hey, Come on, Let's see if there's a baseball game or something going on down towards Blake Street. It's out where the stadium is. Down here by 16th Street Mall, it gets pretty popping. They're doing a bunch of construction there, so I'm staying away. Saturday night downtown. One of my more favorite things to do on the Suron. See, I like this kill switch. Let's kill the lights. Be low key. Scoot around the mall a little bit. What the fuck? Uh, there's some sort of convention going on. What the fuck? And here's why I'm avoiding 16th Street. They're tearing all this shit up. Fire. Right, yeah, fuck this shit. <sighs> See, yeah, there's some convention. The convention center is right over there, so look at this shit. Some like I'm about to go fucking find out. Convention center, cops, oh, they're fucking lined up over there. Let me stay away from that. Let's see if I can make my way down to Blake Street.
We went up. Well, the stadium's lit up. can arrest me, that's a fact. That tank. That's fucking fire.
Yo. <laughs> Fucking bike lane, bro. Downtown adventure has concluded and I shall make my way home on this trusty bike trail that follows the creek all the way home. Just gotta watch out for them homeless people.